At a group level, Transnet has spent $250 million in training in the last two years under its Transnet Academy, and it's committed another $700 million to training in the next seven years. The company also does training at its schools in rail, engineering, security, and leadership in business. This is a good story to tell because in the first instance, these are skills which had been neglected in the past, as we neglected the very fact that South Africa has about 2,900 kilometers of, of, of a shoreline. This is a, a massive shoreline that we've neglected, and as a result of that, a number of industries that are related to the ports and the marine sector have also been neglected. Training is uh, quite critical. Uh, it uh, ensures that uh, we can infuse new blood into the business. Uh, it ensures that uh, we uh, re produce the human capital that is required uh, to run the business uh, at the most critical levels, which is where these helicopters are flying and the tugboats are operating. I want to be a pilot one day and be a harbour master. So that was my choice from high school. and. Um, it's interesting. I'm going back to Mosul Bay to do my instructor's license. So I'm going to be an instructor, I'm going to continue with Transnet as well, and then I'm not going to stop studying. When you think about pilots, you generally think about airports and people landing and taking off. Most people think, ah, it's just easy, she bought the ship and that's it. No. You, you get weird days, you get big swells, wind, rain, it's, it's really terrifying at times. I'd like uh, people to be trained in all aspects of our business but also beyond our business we're training them for the South African economy. The graduate program takes the country's demographics into account, it also takes the country's gender into account and Minister Gigaba was quite clear about the fact that it's not done enough just yet but it's a work in progress. These young people who have now been trained are going to assist Transnet in its market demand strategy to ensure that we succeed in terms of our port investments but most importantly also in terms of our port operations because it is when our ports become productive and efficient run by well-skilled and competent people that we will be able to attract business from elsewhere. Education and training are seen as one of the cornerstones to making South Africa more successful in terms of reaching its NDP targets but more importantly it's about the individuals, it's about the youth and those not so young learning, experiencing and passing that knowledge on. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Durban Harbour.